Today, I wanted to inflame connection. What I believe is our mission here is twin flames incarnated in these physical bodies in this lifetime. And the reason I wanted to discuss this subject is because recently, in my readings over the course of the last few weeks, which I will leave a link to today's twin flame reading in the description box under this video, but in these readings, I have channeled a lot of messages about us collectively going through a very emotionally and energetically intense period of time. A time of breaking open, a time of upheaval, a time of things coming to light for the purpose of ultimately being healed and transcended. But in the moment, that upheaval being a very intense and emotionally charged physical experience. But overarching these experiences of emotional and energetic intensity that we can have in the physical world with our twin flame, overarching all of that is this mission. Now, I don't fully connect with the word mission because it makes it sound like one cut and dry thing that is set in stone, that is the same for all twin flames. I think one of the most confusing aspects of the twin flame purpose or mission is that so many of us want to tie this mission or purpose to one specific project or endeavor or materialized dream. So something like starting a certain business with our twin flame, starting a charity, starting a family, whatever we may envision is the most perfect physically manifested reunion with our twin in this lifetime and what we desire to create or build with them. And while those manifested things, whether it's a business, an organization, a home, a family, a lifestyle, while all of those things are real and valid and beautiful things to desire and to envision for ourselves and for our unique twin flame connections, the thing about the twin flame purpose, the true twin flame mission, is that it runs much deeper than those manifested physical goals and dreams and organizations and ideas that we want to create with our twin flame in this lifetime. The true mission of the twin flame connection, music, is about unconditional love. And specifically, it is that we choose to incarnate here in this life simultaneously with our twin flame in separate physical bodies to experience separation for the purpose of truly coming into a deeper understanding of connection, of connectedness. We choose to experience, music, often as children raised in challenging circumstances, families, societies, broken situations. We choose these broken situations often as twin flames so that over the course of this physical lifetime spent here on this planet, we can learn unconditional love and unlearn, and the process, music, all of these misunderstandings about unconditional love that are programmed into us from, again, a broken family, a broken society, a broken community, whatever it was that pulled us away from our understanding of this love that we know at the core of our soul. And in this process of undoing the negative programming, of unlearning love based on conditions, in that unlearning, unbecoming, and undoing process we go through in this lifetime as twin flames, two very important things happen. The first is that, of course, individually, we experience an accelerated soul evolution and expansion. Usually, through this process, a spiritual awakening is ignited within us. Twin flames being a twin flame is often like having a crash course on love, on spiritual awakening, music, and life. Because through our experiences with our twin flame, by living in these separate physical bodies on this planet and yet feeling this connectedness, through experiencing that, through again unlearning all of the misunderstandings we were taught about ourselves and about our worthiness and about unconditional love, we actually evolve ourselves spiritually. Our soul expands in a very accelerated way. In that sense, our lifetime here is like a classroom. We aren't meant to know everything at the beginning of this so-called class of life. We are meant to learn it. And in the process of learning, to grow, to evolve, to expand. Life is all about expansion, and that's why we experience contrast. That's why we experience separations, disconnectedness, feelings of unworthiness. We experience all of that for the purpose of expansion, for relearning the truths of the universe, the truths of ourselves, and the truths of our twin flame connection. And so, like I said, all of that unlearning and relearning, that whole process results in, I said two things, and I'm sure there's more than two, but two that come directly to mind. And I already talked about the first, our own individual soul expansion. But the second component to that, the second part of this twin flame mission, is that as we relearn unconditional love, we then become this beacon of unconditional love, of light on this planet that then shows an example of that love to others. It ripples outward, ripples outward. This happens as twin flame actively needing to do or say anything specific. We might not even feel like we are actively influencing those around us. But the truth about all of us here on this planet is, we are all connected. We are a collective consciousness. This means that as twin flames, when we choose to release those negative ideas about worthiness, 
about love, about connection, to transcend those separations, divides, and boundaries through our twin flame connection and our understanding of unconditional love that we develop through the unfolding of this connection in this physical lifetime, we show this love to ourselves and to our twin flame. We become this powerful beacon of light that uplifts not just ourselves individually, not just our twin flame, but actually uplifts the whole, positively shifts all of human consciousness, all of collective consciousness. Just imagine what a beautiful place the world would be like if we all individually reconnected with unconditional love. If we all threw away the fear mentality, the separation mentality that we are programmed to accept as children and often even through adulthood. If we threw off all of that negative programming, just imagine what the planet would look like. Each of us individually connected with our own worthiness, understanding just how worthy, loved, valuable, and powerful we are individually. And then from that space of secure worthiness and knowingness of our own self-worth, from that space of unconditionally loving ourselves, naturally radiating that unconditional love outwards toward others. That is what Twin Flames came here to do. In that sense, being a Twin Flame isn't just about creating a physical reunion with our Twin Flame, a physical relationship, although those things will naturally manifest as we release the separation mentality, the fear mentality, the unworthiness mentality. Yes, those things will come. But the true purpose of being a twin flame is actually the transforming process. It's actually what happens through that process of breaking open, through that process of healing ourselves from that fear mentality, from those wounds we experience from those in our lives, usually early in childhood, who didn't understand unconditional love, therefore were not worthy of giving it to us. So much of spiritual awakening and of being a twin flame isn't so much about learning how to be, how to love, but unlearning all of the things that have made us forget how to love, how to be. Because at the very core of your soul, you know what true unconditional love feels like, how to give that love to yourself and others. You were born knowing that. You were simply programmed away from it, disconnected from it, told that it's not possible, that it doesn't exist, that it's not meant for you, but it is meant for you. And as twin flames, you are meant to remember that, to remember the truth of who you are the truth of your own worthiness and the truth of the connection that exists between you and your twin flame. And in that remembering, in that unlearning, you become this beautiful beacon of light on this planet, radiating unconditional love outward, positively influencing the whole of humanity, helping others to remember their own worthiness, helping others to remember the truth of their own love, and helping others to reconnect with their twin flames as well. Twin flames as well. So, the twin flame, the twin flame connection, goes far beyond just the physical manifestation of a relationship or a project or a goal. It's about the transformation that occurs within each individual twin flame, the expansion of the soul, the unlearning of the conditioned patterns, and the reconnection with the truth of unconditional love. And through that process, we uplift and positively shift the collective consciousness, bringing more love, unity, and healing to the world. Remember, you are on this journey for a reason. You are here to remember and embody unconditional love. Embrace the process, trust the journey, and know that your connection with your twin flame is serving a higher purpose beyond what meets the eye. Trust in the power of love and the transformation it can bring. Remember, the twin flame journey is not always easy. It can be filled with challenges, trials, and moments of intense emotions. But these experiences are part of the growth and evolution that you and your twin flame are meant to undergo. Embrace the lessons and the opportunities for healing that arise along the way. As you navigate this journey, it is essential to prioritize self-love and self-care. Nurture yourself, both physically and emotionally. Take the time to heal any wounds, release any limiting beliefs, and cultivate a deep sense of self-worth. When you love and accept yourself fully, you create a solid foundation for the love and connection with your twin flame to flourish. Additionally, practice forgiveness, forgiving yourself and forgiving your twin flame. Understand that everyone is on their own journey of growth, and that mistakes and misunderstandings are part of the process. By letting go of resentment and embracing forgiveness, you open the door to deeper understanding, compassion, and harmony within your connection. Throughout this journey, trust in divine timing and surrender to the greater plan. There may be moments when you feel impatient or uncertain, but have faith that everything is unfolding as it should. Trust that the universe is guiding you and your twin flame towards the highest expression of love and union. Remember, your twin flame connection is unique and sacred. It is a reflection of the divine love that exists within you and your twin flame. 
Honor and cherish this connection, and approach it with reverence and respect. Celebrate the moments of connection and growth, and hold space for each other's individual journeys. In conclusion, the purpose of the Twin Flame Connection goes beyond the physical realm. It is a journey of spiritual growth, healing, and unconditional love. Embrace the mission of this connection, knowing that as you embody love and unity within yourselves, you contribute to the collective consciousness and create a ripple effect of positive transformation in the world. Keep shining your light, dear Twin Flame, and continue on this beautiful journey of love and self-discovery. Self-discovery.